All right, everybody, how's it going? It is chess day, um, and sheesh, I don't know, just, it's a good day, right? Um, every day in life brings a new opportunity, um, new people, new friends, um, new struggles but when you can learn to embrace those struggles to embrace the people to love the process right to love what you're going through to learn from it to thrive in any situation um and to accept people whether you like them or not when you can do those things when you can Allow yourself to be free from the prejudice, the from pride, from anger, um, from hate. Like, the things you can do are innumerable. Um, you can change the world. And I'm not talking in a purely fitness sense. I'm, obvi I'm not talking about fitness at all right now. Um when you can allow yourself to be free from those negative emotions, from those emotions that tie us up, um, nothing you do will fail. Now, you may fail, right? Say you start a business and you go for two years, your business fails. But you were a success, but you, you changed someone's life in that two years of your business. Then you were successful. Right? The whole story of the girl throwing starfish in to the sea and the man walks up to her and says, you know, you're not making any difference as he looks behind and sees hundreds of thousands of starfish um, laid on the beach. He, and the girl picks up a starfish and looks at him and throws it back in the ocean and says, I just made a difference in that life. Um, and I just butchered that story. That was terrible. But what I mean is the difference you can make when you're willing to make a change in yourself, in others, in f f helping others, when you're willing to do that, the difference you can make in the world is incredible. And don't let anyone tell you that what you're doing is not beneficial and it's going to make everyone else's lives harder and stuff because that's not true. Um, whatever you do, it will benefit somebody. Don't tell you people, don't let people tell you it's not worth it because it will benefit somebody, whether that's you or some random person on the street or some random friend. You never know what you do and you never know how what you do will affect other people. You never know the change you can bring about with your words, with your mind, with your thoughts. The things you can do are incredible and don't sell yourself short. Now this seems a bit off track, but what you can do no matter who you are no matter what disabilities you have, what excuses, you can change the world. You can use your voice to make a true difference in somebody else's life. And that power, that power is incredible. Um, so, back to fitness. Um, day's chest, so here it goes.
All right, guys, how do we feel? Swole, dead. Dead? So swole and dead? Pretty much sums it Actually, up. Actually, swole. <laughs> We're gonna go hit um, dumbbell press again. I'm not gonna show that because y'all have seen it. Y'all have already seen it. We're gonna do five by three. Um, and then we'll do that and then push-ups. Hopefully, the goal is that we cannot do our push-ups. That's the goal, so the finisher, we don't want to be physically able to do our finisher of the push-ups. So, that's what it is. Um, and then, of course, we'll hit abs, for sure. And it, yeah, these idiots. What? <laughs> we both just go, what, at the same time? Uh, all right, so here we go. All right, so, um, that five by three, that five by three dumbbell press, turned into a um, competition <laughs> who could hit the most reps and then it just sort of became a competition so I think we hit 10 or 11 sets by the end of it and we were both all hitting at least four every time Ben hit seven Ben hit seven like half of his I the most I did was I got just like yeah. five reps and mm -hmm. then I only did four the rest of them just what's the most you got I got six six reps uh, the most I got was with well, he the was most doing I doing seventies. Me yeah. and Noah were both doing forty five. But that's just that's what I rep and that's what they normally rep. So it's not like the weight doesn't matter. But the most I got with the seventies was nine reps, eight the reps. Seventies is eight. What's most I got with is fourteen. And then the most I got with the forty no, fives was fourteen and almost 14. Oh, yeah. like thirteen and two oh. thirds. So like thirteen with the forty fives, and that was like my second to last set. Um. And then at the end, I could only do four with the 70s, but we're dead. And then we, I was like, oh, there's no way we can hit planks now because we were talking about ab stuff we could do. So and Ezra said, was like, bet. And so he's like, and he said, if, you, if I do a 30 second plank, you'll do a 30 second plank. I was like, I'll do a 45 second plank. So me and Ben and then, both held a minute plank and then Ben me and you just held a minute plank. was a mad No, man. these two held. Oh yeah, me and Noah, me and Noah did a minute and then he did a minute. 55. Yeah. So. So, um, now we're gonna hit some more abs. Yay. But yeah. It's it's good when you're working out with. I'm shaking friend. so much. Oh yeah, you are. You it's that? good when you're working out with like people you know really well, because like, then it all just turns into a friendly competition. Friendly. So. <laughs> friendly so competition. He but hates me. But like. None of us individually would have done 11 sets on dumbbell press after we had just done dumbbell press earlier and then dips. But we were both just like, if you do it, I'm doing it. So then we just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. He hates me. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I love it. Even I if it's it. a competition, That's as long really as you keep pushing yourself, it's good. So. Yep. All right, end it. All right, so that is chest day. Um... I told y'all we ended up working it, working hard, pushing ourselves. We did like 11 sets to failure, and that was incredible. Um, we're all just burnt out and sore, um, and really tired, and that's great. Like, we worked hard, and that's what I love. That's what we talked about yesterday, or in the last video I posted. Um, and honestly. I'm way behind in posting videos, so I have like three in the making right now, and then I think this is the third that will be in the making, um, which is all good. I'm just a little behind. I've been a little stressed out with school. I have the videos, but you know, they're not posted. But back to what I was saying, last video we posted, um, dude, I totally lost my train of thought. Working hard as a group. Oh, yeah, no one and I talked about the value of friendship in the gym and how it makes us push ourselves, makes us work harder, and there's nothing like that, honestly, and I, I think, mean. Honestly, I think Ezra made us do at least six more sets today, <laughs> so. Yeah. I was feeling good, <laughs> I was hitting it, and then they're just, had to competition hit it. to spite me made them do more, so technically, I'm to blame or I'm to thank. Oh, we'll say to thank. Would it? To thank. You're to thank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to thank. Because it was, I mean, it sucked. And oh, we're all, sure. we're all dead. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But it was, it's awesome. Tomorrow, I'm not going to have a chest. Yeah, no way. 
Um, tomorrow's Wednesday, so we normally take Wednesdays off. I'm honestly probably gonna be posting this video Thursday or Friday. We'll see how it ends up working Can out. Can you that off? Like open it? Oh, no, no. Do you have one? Oh, um, okay. oh, that's for me. Oh, it is for Yeah, me. hold on one second. All right, so that is it. Make sure you like and subscribe, and everybody, have, have a great, great day. day. Have a great day. day. Yep. <laughs> and we'll see you all back here, I don't know, one of these days for legs.